Hey guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a little benchmarking with uh, my new 9900K overclocked to 5 gigahertz. You can kind of see all the different temperature readouts here for all the the different CPU cores. Currently it's, uh, they're kind of, I don't know why they kind of fluctuate around at different levels. I guess depending on their different loads for each one, then they kind of tend to fluctuate around a little bit. But the average temp is right, right now is only 24 degrees. Now this is with my uh, NZXT Kraken. Uh, you know x62 on there and uh, that's a 280 millimeter cooler and then I'm using arctic silver 5 thermal adhesive or thermal grease which can usually lower temps a little bit a couple degrees more over other brands I tend to think it's a pretty good brand but um, of course we're idling right now so this is not not under load or anything but we're going to go ahead and do a Cinebench benchmark I wonder if I can yeah there we go and let's see what our temperatures are going to do in this CPU intensive test and see what score we get. The reason I'm recording this with my phone instead of doing, I was trying to do some things earlier with Shadow Play and I was going to do up a whole kind of a collage of different videos, but the performance hit from Shadow Play seems like it's oddly high right now. Like, I don't know if that's something that happened with their latest driver update, but I'm losing points even in this and that shouldn't even be really utilizing the CPU but it's, it's it's just supposed to use some of your CUDA cores and this isn't even a CPU test or this isn't a GPU test so I don't know why but it was not running very well so uh, I just opted to use my my camera instead of trying to screw around with uh, using any kind of screen capture software that all has a performance hit to it but uh, here goes with our CPU test let me uh, see here The temps are getting to the high 60s, low 70s, depending on where you look at. And our score was 2161. Previously, got a 2181, so it's pretty much hanging around the same area. Uh, pretty repeatable score. Now, my old Threadripper overclocked to 4 gigahertz, which was 12 cores and 24 threads, was only getting 2283. So it's a very marginal difference for a difference of 4 cores and 8 threads. It's almost scoring as high is uh, the Threadripper was. And I could probably overclock a little bit higher. Uh, those temps were jumping up pretty quick, but uh, again, like not that bad for, uh, you know, for a very CPU intensive test at that high of an overclock. Uh, stock, I don't think it was getting anywhere near that high. Let's run it again and watch it one more time. Since before I didn't really have this uh, on screen that well. Now, now you can't see what the temps are doing, jeez. Alright, so... Yeah, I mean, nothing really out of control or anything. I mean, those are kind of high temps. Like, if you were getting that all the time while you are just gaming or something, that would be pretty warm. But uh, actually, while I've been gaming, even with this, I don't think it's ever gotten much above, like, the mid to higher 40s. Uh, so it's very cold in here, though. That's got something to do with it. So this would probably be higher normally. Um, but, like, I, I've it's got an insulation issue going on in my condo because it's just not very warm in here. Now, that time I got... 2144 so again it's it goes up and down a little bit like you never get an identical run but it's doing a pretty good job let's do like uh some kind of a game benchmark for the fun of it i will be right back we'll load up something all right so i loaded up far cry 5 you're not gonna be able to see the whole screen and the numbers in the top at the same time uh like the text is kind of small and it doesn't seem to be possible to change that in reva tuner unless i'm misreading it somehow but I haven't been able to figure out how to increase the uh, the size of the text so we'll just uh, run a benchmark real quick on this this is 4k with everything turned up high dynamic range the whole nine yards we'll uh, see what it wants to do here back here I guess but
So you can kind of see there, the GPU is only at like 41 degrees. CPU is jumping around, but not much higher than like the high, mid to high 40s most of the time on all the cores. So uh, it's doing a good job of keeping it where we want the temperature. Like I said, it would be doing uh, probably not so great, you know, in like the middle of summer or something, unless you had your AC going really good. But right now, because it's fairly cold in here, it's uh, sitting at a pretty nice temperature. But I think that's a pretty good uh, demonstration of what the CPU is doing. Um, I guess I could do like a, a stock test or something like that to compare it. But, um, well, yeah. Okay, so like that one got an average FPS of 69, it says. <laughs> 69. And so, um, here we go. Sorry, I'll move the camera over here. But yeah, so this one's had an average FPS of 69. And it seems like before... When I ran it at stock, it was like 64 or 65. So overclocking, it definitely makes a difference. It's not uh, like that's not a huge frame rate difference, but that's a pretty good difference for you know for your average. That's very very playable, obviously in 4K with everything on and HDR and all the goodies. But uh, appreciate guys watching the video here. I'll try to do some other benchmark videos here soon. I'd like to get a capture card or something that could re uh, record this kind of stuff without taking any kind of a performance hit on the system. I don't even know if uh, if, that's the po if that's possible or if maybe it could be run through a second PC and have that one do the recording and thus not lose any you know frame rate from the first PC that was doing running the game. I need to find a way to uh, capture, you know, do screen capture without recording with my phone and without losing frame rates. So that's probably something I have to look into is getting some kind of an external uh, capture card or something. But again, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you don't mind, if you like the content, or give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. And maybe leave some suggestions in the comment section for uh, other content you'd like to see. But again, appreciate you watching it. Have a great one. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye.